A major ruling tonight affecting dozens of rape victims in Memphis and Shelby County. Today, a judge with the Tennessee Court of Appeals overturned a ruling in favor of the victims in its class action lawsuit against the city. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Lauren Terman. This comes after the city of Memphis appealed the circuit court's ruling last year. ABC 24 Scott Mattis is here now with what this all means, especially for the victims. Good evening, Scott. Good evening. The appeals court ruling basically means the class action lawsuit suit against the city of Memphis is over and the court will rule in favor of the city. But according to the attorney fighting for those victims, this case, well, it could end up in front of the Tennessee Supreme Court. In 2012, Memphis police arrested Anthony Aliano for raping at least eight women over the course of a decade. His arrest brought to light the backlog of untested rape kits. For decades, the city of Memphis sexual assault unit was not investigating nor utilizing sexual assault kits, rape kits, uh, for the victims. And that's the genesis of this case. In late 2013, the city of Memphis admitted they had a backlog of more than 12,000 untested rape kits. The next year, attorney Gary Smith filed suit against the city of Memphis on behalf of victim Janet Doe. It's not just not testing the kits. They wouldn't even investigate, period. Then they are re-traumatized. It's almost as though they're raped again. Then nearly 10 years later, last year in 2023, a Shelby County Circuit Court judge ruled the case would allow bypassing the statute of limitations, also allowing the case to proceed as a class action lawsuit with multiple victims. But Tuesday, an appeals court ruling overturned that decision that this is not a class action lawsuit and the statute of limitations should apply. Yesterday, they took another slap in the face. But the fight is not over. We're going to continue to pursue this. We're going to continue to stand up for these victims and hope that in the end, they finally get justice. All right, so moving forward, there are two separate options for the victims. The attorney, of course, Gary Smith, tells me they can petition the Tennessee Supreme Court to hear this case or they can refile with the Shelby County Circuit Court. That decision will be made within the next 60 days. Of course, we will stay on top of this story for you, so please stay with us. Live in studio tonight, I'm Scott Mattis.